Today we're opening third party blister packs from 20 years ago. What's up guys, we're back with another Black Eye video and in today's video we have a bunch of third party blister packs you guys saw this when we opened these up on the uh the, the purchase video we purchased all those sealed blisters and stuff like that so these are the third party ones that we got from that video if you guys missed it go check it out there's some other really cool stuff in there as well we're gonna open these up in this video and see if we can pull some amazing stuff from 20 years ago before we hop into it we have a giveaway i'll be giving away this mermail abistius this was actually sent to me by check this out from at ebra Juz? I don't know how to say that, but he sent me this for another video. I forgot to give it away. So we're giving it away in this video. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite of all these products. I think there's five of them, something like that. So pick your favorite one. Let me know in the comments. All right, so I have all of them set up in the background. Let's do this one first. Yu-Gi-Oh! Two pack, two packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster cards. So we got some booster cards inside. I don't know if there's any extra cards. I think it's just two packs, right? Yeah, so this is made by XL Marketing. These are the same people that made the first edition Legend of Blue Eyes blisters that they look just like this, except they have Legend of Blue Eyes pack inside. They're the only blisters for first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. They're not, of course, Konami legit, you know, the official ones, but they are made, uh, you know, they do have first edition packs in them. Des Moines, Iowa. So check them out. Yeah, go hang out in Des Moines, Iowa. You can probably find it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's open this thing up. Let's see what we get. I think it's Legacy of Darkness, Veronica Guardian. All right, so we have Massacre, this old school blister. We have both unlimited packs, Veronica Guardian and Legacy of Darkness. Let's start with Legacy of Darkness. This is straight up an old school opening today. So if you like old school packs being open, make sure to subscribe because that's what we do as much as possible on this channel not every single day i'm sorry to uh, all you people out there who just want it to be old school every single day i'm doing my best trying to get as many as i can but you know it's pretty difficult so we're gonna we're gonna try it as much as we can one two three four from the back let's see if we can pull something cool like a secret rare ultra rare any of that would be pretty cool emergency provisions legacy of darkness we have opened quite a bit on the channel but it's been fun every time the illusory gentleman it's a classic i think that's kind of where like they had scaled up the print to like a really high amount around legacy of darkness because it was so popular at the time because it feels like legacy of darkness is one of the easier to obtain in terms of the old school product uh robo yaru but it's still pretty expensive at this point bad reaction to samoji we got the robo lady a warrior fully covered with metal it upgrades by fusing with robo yaru what does that become super robo yaru something like that serpentine princess very nice the princess uh okay a little creepy uh is it more or less beautiful than the uh the other serpent one that's beautiful we have the spirit ryu and then we have a is that our foil for the first one let's Lesser Fiend. No, it's not a foil. It's a Lesser Fiend. It's four arms like General Grievous or Machamp, depending on which one you like more. All right, second pack, Veronica Guardian. It is really hot in here for some reason. I don't know why, but it is hot in my apartment. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little sweaty. Let's see if that means we're going to pull something good. One, two, three, four. Maybe I'm just feeling the fire because it's coming up. Or maybe just my black eye at it again. You got the Royal Tribute. All right, Des Bakuda. Very nice. Gravekeeper's Assailant. Beautiful. That's actually a pretty strong uh, common. Gravekeepers are cool. Dark Snake Syndrome. That is very creepy artwork. Dark Scorpion Burglars. We've got the Narrow Pass. All right. Wait, what, what are the little monsters in here? Is that Ojama Green right there? I think it is. And then some other hooligans. There's like an Elvis guy going on over there. We've got a Molten Behemoth. A giant born from magma. It attacks with a magma punch. So not fire punch, a magma punch. All right. What is it next? Is this it? These corners are in pretty bad shape. You can see them. D tribe, the tribe of the D. Will it be a foil? Come on. No really big commons out of there because Ferrana Guardian has good commons. We didn't really pull any of them. Let's see if there's a good foil. Moisture creature. All right. This guy. If you tribute chum this monster by offering three monsters on the field as a tribute, destroy all magic and trap cards. Yeah, that's just another reference. If you're an old school player like me and you thought that if it had more than eight, you had to do three tributes every time, you actually don't. Unless it says specifically you have to do it, it's still only a two tribute card. I know. If you're like a new guy or a new player, you've been playing for a long time, you're probably like, you didn't know that? No, I did not know that. You'd be surprised at how many people don't know it, though. Because last time I said it, people were like, I had no idea. And I was like, me either. Okay, next. Next up, two more packs of booster cards. I think this is Legacy of Darkness and Pharaoh's Servant this time. So let's see what we can pull. Uh, there's no like, because these aren't legit, you know. I keep saying legit. I mean to say Konami officials, what I'm trying to say. Official blisters by Konami. They could be either hobby or retail packs, you know, because normally if it's a Konami official pack out of a blister, it's a retail pack. But this is not official, so it could be either. Let's start with Legacy of Darkness. We want it to be hobby so we can pull, of course, the Genza. All right, man, look at the back of these cards. Okay, there's a little something there, but they look pretty clean. Clean. One, two, three, four. Can we get a foil? Let's go. Warrior Die Greffer. For some reason, these just feel like in better shape than the other Legacy of Darkness. I don't know why. We've got Dragon Dwelling in the Cave. It reminds me of Narnia, uh, the fifth one, whatever it was called. Spirit's Invitation. 
twin-headed wolf. Super Robo Lady. Maybe, maybe this is it. Robo Lady and Robo Yaru. So Super Robo Lady. Okay, I didn't realize it was a Robo Lady. Isn't Super Robo Yaru something too? Maybe it is. True Dragon. Very nice. We've got a Fang Xing Mirror. The Mirror of Fangs. Patrician of Darkness. And finally, will we get our first foil? Here we go. We will! A reinforcement of the army and talk about a good one to get. A little bit of uh, whitening down there, but that's still a super sick card because Rhoda is really awesome. And speaking of Rhoda, uh, Rhoda is now in Duel Links. I actually got back on Duel Links. I did it. I finally got back on there after talking about it the other day. I was like, I'm getting a deck. And apparently Rhoda is in the game, so it's crazy. You know, you can use it with Elemental Heroes and stuff. So pretty sick. There's probably an outside chance that I'm streaming Duel Links at some point on Twitch, <laughs> you know, in the near future. Let's see if we can get a Pharaonic Guardian. Can we get Genzo? Genzo, make yourself known. All right, one, two, three, four. Our first foil, let's see if we can get two in a row. We have Gust, cool. Insect Barrier, the Bot of Spikes, Regulation of the Tribe. I added a the, Light of Intervention, Steel Ogre Grotto, the number two, Earth the Shaker. Is it next? No. Mr. The Volcano. And finally, we have, what is his name? This seemingly mild-mannered creature has an extremely volatile temper. What do you mean mild-mannered? He has a flaming finger. What's mild about that, okay? It's, come on, calm down. All right, here we go. Final card, we have Morphing Jar Numero Dos. That's a pretty, pretty good card right there. Morphing Jar number two. I mean, it's not great in terms of value, but it's, a, it's quite the card when it comes to actually playing. All right, next up, let's do this one. Let's do the one with Yu-Gi-Oh! Two packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Plus 40 card protector sleeves. So I want to see what these sleeves look like, see if they're any good. Let's open this thing up, chop it up. I'm pretty sure they're not based on what I saw. Uh, this looks hard to open, actually, because this thing is so long. All right, let's see. Let's see what these are like. Are these any good? Uh, they seem okay. I mean, they're a little flimsy, but they're definitely not great, but they're not as bad as I expected when I saw the little blue sleeve. They looked, looked really bad. <laughs> then we have two packs of Magic Ruler and we have Legacy of Darkness. So this is not a 2002 pack. This is probably a 2003 pack from like a 10 because as you can see, this does not have the original square logo. It has the red banner logo. So it's the 2003 or later print. Let's go. Legacy of Darkness first. They put Legacy of Darkness in everything. That's why I'm like, I think this and Pharaonic Guardian were probably the most printed set. Sets. The sixth and seventh sets there is when it was probably at its peak in terms of popularity. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We have Wing Beat of Giant Dragon. Dragon Manipulator. And these are also 2003 packs, but they came out in 2003, so obviously. Life Absorbing Machine. Illusory Gentleman. Frontier Wiseman. Beautiful. Possess Dark Soul. And sometimes Legacy of Darkness just has this really thin printing to it. I wonder if they cheaped out a little bit because it was getting so popular. They're trying to pump out of so many cards. We've got a Super Rejuvenation. Yeah, this one, they feel cheap. Bad reaction to Samochi and which old old like Konami cards in upper deck and stuff usually was not cheap. It usually felt nice. And then our final card is a foil. The A forces. We have Warrior Diagrapher with his lightsaber added again. So no, that is not a foil, but that's okay. We have Magic Ruler. We still have hope. Magic Ruler, bless us with a blue eyes tune dragon. Tune summon skull. Relinquish. Tune mermaid. Delinquent duo. Snatch steel. Confiscation. Any of those. They would be pretty cool. We have Crab Turtle starting it off, the Turtle of the Crab, Snake Fang, the Fangs of the Snake, Peacock, I'm not going to say that one, <laughs> Shadow Wall, that would have been a good one though, Metal Fish, very nice, Darth Maul, Awaiting Orders, Horn of Light, we have Sonic Bird, is it the next card, let's see, is it a foil, come on, Manga Ryuran, no, it's not a foil, Woo! Okay, so far we've opened six packs. We've gotten two packs of sleeves that are 20 packs, so 40 sleeves, and then one foil. So not looking so good so far. That's okay because we have seven bonus cards available thanks to the legends at Legends. We'll see if they're legends. But inside we get two packs and we get seven cards. This was $9.99 back in the day at KB Toys. <laughs> What a steal. All right, let's open this thing up. Let's see what we can get. Let's not cut our extra cards because those are probably going to be really amazing cards. I'm guessing like Blue Eyes White Dragon first edition for Legend of Blue Eyes. That's my guess. And we have a public service announcement before we keep going. Look for new Legends products in stores near you. Legends, I've never heard of you. So, uh, yeah. All right. So before the two packs, which are Legend of Blue Eyes and of course, Legacy of Darkness. So Legacy of Darkness would be like the pack where like nowadays it's like duels from the deep. <laughs> it, it's not probably not that bad, but it was like, oh, more Legacy of Darkness. You know, <laughs> they were putting it in everything. Seven cards. 
Who wants to put in the comments, come on right now, do you think there are going to be any good cards? Are they all going to be commons from Starter Deck Yugi or Starter Deck Kaiba or are there going to be anything good? Let's see. All right, Starter Deck Joey. Okay, all right, nice. We got Starter Deck Joey, crazy. Who would have thought? Starter Deck Joey, not going to lie though, if you did get these back in the day, those were actually good hits from Starter Deck Joey. That's not bad. Wabaku, I mean, that's also a good card. Fake Trap, not good. Wow, Starter Deck Joey is really cool right here. Dian Katza, we're getting to the worst ones. Yeah, all Star Deck Joey. So, wow. What, what did they say on those again? Wait, at least they didn't say seven cool cards. They said seven bonus. I mean, they're literally bonus. They're just random. And by random, I mean, they're all from the same deck. All right, let's go. We still got six packs to go in this opening. We're going a little slower because we got old school in this. So we're, you know, taking our time to appreciate it. Let's see if we can get a big pull. So far, we've gotten one super rare. So we're really looking for an ultra out of these. Come on, one, two, three, four. We have Gray Wing. His wings are gray. He's intercepting of ready. The Z nutrient. Plan Z can possibly fail. Warrior Digreffer. Nice. Oh, what is it? What is his flavor text? The warrior who can manipulate dragons. Nobody knows his mysterious past. Wow. Troop Dragon. Nice. Fangxing Mirror. Patrician of Darkness. A faint plan. It's faint. And oh, is this a foil? Is this something? I mean, that's a good rare. Royal Oppression. I think that's that's worth money at this point, but. Wow, this guy, this, see, look, these are crazy flimsy. I'm telling you guys, like, this is probably hurting you, but I'm barely touching it. It's flopping all over the place. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's literally, like, so floppy. I don't know what it is about Legacy of Darkness sometimes. The cards are just weird. They're, like, so flimsy. Like, you compare it to this, this Joey card, and it's even better than this. I mean, the Joey card's even more solid. It's weird. It's very, very cheap. I don't know why they, oh, I, I have my, you know, I have my suspicions why they're cheap. What in the world happened here? Oh, it's flipped. Okay, I was like, why is this pack so short? Okay, there we go. All right, I was like, there's something weird going on. Legend of Blue Eyes. Okay, it, this is an original pack, by the way. Original logo. So if we pull like a Blue Eyes, you know, this is a big deal. Let's see what we can get. Bless us, Legends from Legends. <laughs> can you give us a legendary pull? Here we go. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. These are pretty expensive at this point. One, two, three, four. Can we get something good? We've got to remove Trap. No Glossy or Wavy from what I can tell. Remove Trap. Steel Ogre Grotto number one, or numero uno. The Monster Egg. I haven't opened a lot of Legend of Blue Eyes recently, so this is fun. Numi Ruko, Numi Rico, Dark King of the Abyss. Spiked Cedra, the Spiked Cedra. The Mammoth Graveyard, here we go. Fire Grass, his grass is on fire. All right. Oh, that was the rare dragon capture jar. I thought there was one more. These see, these feel so much more like thick than the LOD, but oh my goodness, dragon capture jar. Bummer of a pull. All right. I would love to pull something. I would love to pull a foil. We've pulled one. One foil out of eight packs. Not good. Old school. This is how it went. That's why they were, you know, only $8.99 or whatever. So four packs in a year. Yu-Gi-Oh! Four pack. We've got one Legend of Blue Eyes pack guaranteed. Pretty cool. Let's see what we can get. All right. Inside, we have our Ferrani Guardian, Legend of Blue Eyes, of course, Legacy of Darkness, and Ferrani Guardian. Who would have thought? All right. We will save Legend of Blue Eyes for the end. Ferrani Guardian, you will go first because there's two of you. Will we pull some of the epic commons inside of this set? Hopefully, because last time we didn't. So let's see if we can do it this time. Ferrani Guardian, let's go. Bless us with an amazing pull. One, two, three, four. Give us some good commons. We have Secret Pass of the Treasure, Farming and Duel Links, Dice Jar. That's a good one. It's like three bucks. Very, oh, Trap Dust Shoot. All right, we're already starting off hot. Beautiful. Now can we get a Metamorphosis or a Maiden of the Aqua? Gravekeeper's Curse. Nice Disturbance Strategy. Gravekeeper's Guard. That's another good card. Uh, Hieroglyph Lithograph. All right, it's hard to say. Cryuel is the next card. This might be our foil. If it is a foil, Spirit Reaper. Okay, not a bad card either. Spirit Reaper. Didn't we pull this the other day? What was that out of? I pulled a Spirit Reaper. Oh, it was when we did. Yeah, when we did the uh, the mail day, we opened one of the Pharaonic Guardian. We got Spirit Reaper. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so another Pharaonic Guardian. Another Spirit Reaper. Not a bad rare. We'll take it. I just won another foil. Like two out of 12. I mean, that's all I'm asking. Now, just give us an Ultra. One Ultra, one Super. I'll take it. Or Secret. Different Dimension Capsule, Swarm of Locusts, very cool. Oh my goodness, look at the centering. I can see it before I even pulled the card. We got a Secret Pass of the Treasure. Trap does shoot number two. All right, this is a pretty good one. We'll take it. This man, whoever would have opened this back in the day, if they had bought it, they would have almost a full place at a Trap does shoot. Bird Face, Rite of Spirit, beautiful. Oh, and a Metamorphosis. We're getting the Trio Dice Jar. Trap does shoot Metamorphosis. That's a good three commons. 
We've got the Servant of Catabolism added again, and here's a foil. Hopefully it is, hopefully it is, hopefully it is. Book of Moon. Wow, that's actually two amazing packs. Like, some of the absolute best cards from the set in there without even being a foil. That's amazing. Pretty good for the Ferrani Guardian. Let's go back to Legacy of Darkness. Will the cards be flimsy? That is the question. Flimsy or not to flimsy? That is the question. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Can we pull a secret rare Woodland Sprite? Oh, no. Not the Woodland Sprite, please. Anything but that. Dragon's Gunfire. A Wingbeat of Giant Dragoon. Dragon Manipulator, Troop Dragon, Fangxing Mirror, Patrician of Darkness, A Faint Plan, beautiful, and we have a, is it a foil? Yes! Freed the Matchless General right after, he's on there, on a faint plan, so he made a plan, and we pulled him, so we got an Ultra Rare, this is not the best Ultra Rare in the set by any means, but it is an Ultra Rare, I can't complain about that, Legacy of Darkness has done as well, we got two foils, Veronica Guardian gave us some amazing pulls as well, now it's time for Legacy of Darkness to bless us with the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Our final pack of the opening, it's been a fun opening, we haven't had insane pulls, but also hasn't been that bad i think i might have cut part of the pack when i was opening this up all right okay nothing too crazy here is there anything nuts no these aren't ian packs so that means it didn't make it to 2005 so it's before that oh we're crimped a little bit we got a crimped common okay we've pulled crimped from what hello be before you remember in the uh the trihorn dragon we have yurabi let's see what we can get two mouth dark ruler can we finish it with another foil go three for 12 that would actually be on ratio two mouth dark ruler Hinotama was our crimped card. Pretty cool. Armored Starfish. Very cool. I said very cool like seven times in this pack. Monster Egg. Numuriko. I always used to say Nimiruko, which is not right. Nemuriko is probably what it is. Sogen. All right. Is it next? No. Mystical Sheep Numero Dos. What is going on back here? Is that like hypnotizing you or something? A monster sheep with a long tail for hypnotizing enemies. I've never read the card. Just read the cards, man. All right, here we go. Final card. Will it be a foil? Can we finish this off with a bang? Come on. <laughs> Goblin Seeker Remedy. So we can gain a few life points, but we're not going to get a foil, unfortunately. But that was a fun opening. I love opening those old school, like third party stuff. It's just insane to see what you're going to get. It's a lot of fun to see that repackaged stuff. 20 years ago. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more old school openings like this. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, An Unatai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.